Hello everybody and welcome back to X4, where as expected, I was not really able before I ran out of time for the recording deadline for today's episode, I was not really able to get the 11.7 million credits. That should be for next episode so that we can begin our actual production of Claytronics then, but... I figured we'd go ahead and check in. This might be a brief episode, it might not. It kind of depends on if we've actually got something to do or not. But uh, we might just be checking in. But let's just hop into the logical overview here real quick. You can see that we do have a decent amount of methane at this point, And that is being converted into graphene. And we currently only have one graphene production. That is correct. That's the number of graphene production that we expect to have. And our superfluid coolant is being produced, and our graphene and that is going into the quantum tubes, which are being produced. They don't sell super well, but we are now producing every material that we need to be able to produce our top tier material, Claytronics. So that's perfect. We've got about a million credits in the station account, and I did actually want to check in on... A couple of things specifically I wanted to check in on our gas miners over here and see what exactly they're doing okay they're currently mining helium hydrogen and methane okay I would imagine it'll remove one if we overstock that and yes I did hear that guy saying that he was harassed by pirates it's fine he is set to automatically evade which is already happening and with these maxed out ships He's not going to have any problem getting out of there. Ever since I switched over to using fully maxed out ships like this, we've and also switched over to escape, we've not lost a single ship. So that's great. Now you'll notice I did assign one of our independent ships to the Alpha group. That was just because I didn't really feel like handling it, and it uh, has been going reasonably well. It doesn't feel like there's anything... Like, it, it feels like this could actually probably use additional ships, but for right now, this'll do. So we'll hop into the funds here. We can see that there's currently 1.1 million. This actually doesn't quite have everything built yet that we queued up in the last episode. We've still got about three minutes on quantum tube production, and that's actually not being built right now because we're missing energy cells. We're missing 110 energy cells, to be precise. So let's check in on the status of our Mercury Vanguard, which is currently docking over here. Now, I want to check to see what it's currently up to. Actually, I want it to be in here. So we've got a fair number of trades queued up. That's fine. Now, one thing I would really, really like to be able to do is just manually move. Because we're currently selling energy cells here, right? I think. Yes, we are. We have 28, almost 28,000 energy cells here. We can't just move two of, or we can't just move 110 of them into our build storage, which I think is kind of silly. And I feel like that's the kind of thing that should be possible. But I guess we will just have this guy at the very end transfer wares with the GE headquarters and he's going to move in 110 energy cells yeah that's fine so 110 energy cells like so and then he'll just fill this out bam okay so that'll be a little bit before that's ready to go. Now we also have about 1 million, and I did want to actually get up and go double check the pricing on that module that we need. We also need a habitation module at some point if we want to make this a little bit more efficient. So the Claytronics module is not the only module that we need. We need the... Uh, we need the habitation module as well, and those are also reasonably expensive. So let's take a quick look and de determine which we want to go for next. So Claytronics, oh, that's actually 20 million. I was under the impression that was 11, but the small habitat is actually the 11 million. Okay. Good luck out there. That is a lot. You know what? This will allow you to gain blueprints 
by scanning leaks on certain modules. If you could, please gather the required materials. Yep, we're on it. We'll get these smart chips. So, we're going to try to steal habitation modules, I think. That's so expensive. We can steal production modules right now, so we may want to actually go to a Claytronics factory and see if we can if we can find one. We might be able to and save ourselves 20 million credits. Elite. I do know where a Claytronics module or a Claytronics factory is. There's one up over here and in fact our trader is I believe heading there now. That's a high-tech factory. Uh, let's see here. We can find it most easily like this. That's an antimatter converter. I'm pretty sure it's actually up over here. Yeah, this is the Claytronics factory here. So we'll start the guidance to the to that object. We will go ahead and undock. First time I've done this in a little while. And we are going to head out over this direction. Engage. Fantastic. So we're just going to go see if we can get ourselves a Claytronics production module for free over there, I think. And then we'll maybe take a look at habitation mod modules once we have this research done. We do need smart chips, and actually I wanted to check to see if, it, if the research module automatically put in the order for the smart chips. Looks like it did not. Let's take a look at the logical overview here. Okay, what do we actually need? Was it smart chips? Yeah. We need 308 smart chips. So, Entering system. our number of smart chips is currently choice. here. Automatic buy am amount. 308. There we go. Well, actually, technically, we should be... That's, that's the amount that we currently need. The total amount that we need, I believe, was 400. Let me double check that. Yes. Okay, so Entering system. that should put in that buy order. Excellent. So let's check over here to make sure that it is in. Buying smart chips. Entering system. Excellent. Why are we Buy buying so much teledianium? We're not actually using this for anything. There. We do not need it. Yeah, refined metals, claytronics, antimatter converters, advanced electronics. We don't need buy offers for these. Uh, we can sell these advanced electronics for right now. And we want to sell all of them. Oops, I did that wrong. We want to sell all of them for automatic pricing. Okay. Antimatter converters, same thing. We want to sell any of them that we have for automatic pricing. Claytronics, we will keep these around for now. Refined metals, we will sell these. any of them that we have for automatic pricing. Smart chips, we're just trying to keep there. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? We need these for the research. All we need to do is get the smart chips. Requesting immediate backup. Where am I? Autopilot. The autopilot got turned off at some point. I see. That's kind of exciting. Autopilot disengaged. Okay. 
So here we are at the Claytronics factory. Claytronics factory. And the question is, which of these modules is the actual production module for Claytronics? I'm guessing it's these guys. Although this may be storage. Well, for right now, we are just seeing if we can't get ourselves some uh, radio signals. And of course, in the meantime, we are saving up money. Just listening for any radio signals. So far, I haven't heard any. This is, I believe, their pier here. Yeah, that's their pier. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. We may have clipped th slightly through that antenna. Hello. Okay. So we are going to get up and use the spacesuit. Okay. Now we are just going to head over here in scanning mode. And we are just going to see about getting this scan done. See what we can find here. It sounds like this is a mission offer, probably, and not actually the production module blueprint. Okay, just trying to slow us down a little bit, match speeds. be close enough. I'm taking a big risk by broadcasting. So if you decode this transmission, keep it to yourself. Apparently this isn't close enough. I'm taking a big risk by broadcasting. So if you decode this transmission, are you interested in a job? Depends on the job. You're just giving us credits. Nope. Not interested in that job. Okay. We'll disable the scan mode. We'll head right on back. Docking granted. So we're just going to get docked in here. I mean, those black market jobs do pay reasonably well. It is true. But, I mean, we will eventually get the 31 million credits that we need. But I was just hopeful that maybe we'd be able to save some of that. Okay. Let's just move up over this way and just see if we can get ourselves auto-docked in. Something like this. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we've decrypted that one. Let's go see if we can find another one. Be ideal if we could. Let's see, what else might there be? Now this looks like container storage. Really not too interested in that. This could very well be production here. Is it? I don't know. But there's also these sections over here that we haven't been to yet.
be really great if we could get some schematics for free. Hello. Now this looks like a production facility. I was just listening to see if I could hear a uh, transmission around. So far, nothing. So how are we doing on finances? We currently have 1.1 million in our personal account. How much in the station account? 1.4 million. Okay. I mean, we're definitely making money. We'll get there eventually. So that's their docking bay there. But I think this module is the Claytronics production facility. They've had several of those. This is a biome. Claytronics factory. Okay. So that's a biome. Good to know. Yeah, this is indeed a Claytronics production module here. So that's perfect. We need to locate ourselves a blueprint for this, if we can. This will save us a tremendous sum of money. 20 million credits. Which I would definitely consider to be an acceptable amount of money to save. And they've got themselves T-structures down over here, or rather cross-structures. Okay. So then this is, of course, another production facility here. Not seeing a whole lot of anomalies out here right now. They can be kind of rare from time to time. Don't let them get away. But from what I read, it sounds like it is far more common to get the blueprint if you scan it in the asteroid suit than if you scan it in the ship, which is why I've been doing that. That said, the uh, information is maybe a little out of date. It's hard to tell. So, what do we got up over here? Anything? Well, apparently I'm ramming the ship. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll just do something kind of like this. Okay. So those are all habitats over there. We don't yet have the research to steal habitats. What size of habitat are these? These are large. I mean, if we can steal that, that would be huge. That would be absolutely huge. How close are we on our research for that? We don't have the smart chips yet. Let's check in on our buy order. Looks like it's on the way. Okay. I'm fine with that. So we're interested in stealing two different types of things here. We're interested in stealing this production module blueprint for Claytronics, and we are interested in stealing the large habitats. Fascinating. Now you can take hostile actions with EMPs to uh, get these a little bit more easily, but I'm not too interested in that, largely because this is Talati Company and we're kind of allied to them. So I want to just quietly steal their crap. That would be ideal. With them not even knowing. 
We might be able to buy these habitation modules a little cheaper with them because we're higher ranked with them than with the Argon Federation. And I wish we could buy those blueprints remotely, but we really can't. Are there any more production facilities over here? Yeah, there's this one, isn't there? Yes. Yes, there is. Is this actually a Claytronics production, though? Yeah, this is. Well, there appears to be just this one signal here. Which is, I guess, super unfortunate. We can check back in here, or I can just swing by periodically while I am uh, playing off camera. For right now, I think we'll hop over to the trading station. Because we can actually get a promotion over there. And with the promotion, I think we may get a discount on some of these things. So we want to take a look at what is available there. So let's just hop on over and we'll take a quick look. In the meantime, I want to check in on the status of our manual freighter here. Let's see here. Information. Disengage. Entering system. Right promise. Okay, it's still working. And it will be for a little while yet. That's fine. Entering system. Trinity so we're at, we're at 1.8 million on the uh, station account currently. That's great. We're currently selling quite a few different wares, and all of these are going to be repurposed into Claytronics in a little while. But we also need to get habitation modules set up so that we can properly optimize this, and we need to figure out exactly how many of each section we need. So that's something that we'll do once we get our habitation modules set up. Autopilot. Engaged. I don't know why the autopilot turns itself off. It's kind of weird. But we need to fly over to the Talati headquarters, so that is exactly where we're going to go. Get our promotion, see how expensive it is over there as opposed to the Argon Federation. Granted, they're, they they have different modules. I'm not sure if it's... I, th I think it's just a cosmetic difference, so I don't think there's any efficiency difference. So if we can get it cheaper, I kind of don't care about the cosmetics. So that would be great. Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. Yes, indeed. Entering system. Right promise. Okay, so we'll be leaving the highway now. Excellent. It's always so awkward, the way that the autopilot does that. <laughs> so, let's see, we've got about two million there. How long until this comes in? We don't know. Okay, probably because it's queued like that. And we are going to lose this construction vessel as soon as this finishes, but that's fine. We do want at least one more quantum tube production for sure. And we're only going to be making the Claytronics at that factory. We're not going to be making anything else for that. For other goods, we are definitely going to make a new station. I just don't want to have all of my eggs in one basket in case that station gets blown up or whatever. I don't know if that station can get blown up, because I don't know if you can replace the research module. Regardless, we will be at the trading station momentarily. This is, I believe, the final jump, yes? Yes. Excellent. Entering so system. in we jump, and then we are going to hop onto this superhighway, I think, for a little bit. Yes, indeed. Yeah, 
And then we're just going to dock up over here and go talk to the faction rep quick. Get ourselves our promotion and take a look at the pricing. Autopilot. Uh, no autopilot. You, you failed. There we go. I guess I'll just manually fly us over. Okay, we are only about 80 kilometers away. That's not too bad. Sadly, we can't boost while in travel mode. <laughs> that makes me very sad indeed. So, judging by this rep bar, it looks like we're getting very close to being maxed out with these guys. Which would be great. Okay. Hello. You're a little spooky. I'm just going to cruise right on by here. Trading station. Docking granted. Okay. We're going to leave before this Xenon decides to uh, have a little fun. So we're just going to cruise right through here. And get docked up. Okay. So we're going to dock right over here. No concerns. I think we managed to get in peacefully. Okay, we're going to have to turn over this way. That's fine. And the docking computer will take over from there. Successfully docked. Excellent. So we need to talk to the faction rep. It's an honor to have you aboard. And let's go. Hello, faction rep. It's an honor to see you here. We're happy that our previous interest in you was not unfounded. You have performed well enough to be rewarded. It's an honor to present you with a new rank amongst our company. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record and our trust, I'm sure we don't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fitting to the work you've done. May they bring you profit. Given your elevation, you may also find opportunities in a number of organizations under our administration. They may be worth your attention. Once again, I give you thanks for your efforts. We look forward to continuing our partnership in the future. Good profit to you. Why did your voice change so much? So we are now honorary company directors, apparently. And we have licenses now to fly their capital ships even. So uh, that's great. But I first want to check in here to see how much things cost. More specifically, I want to see about Claytronics production. They want the same 20 million. Okay. What about habitation? So biomes, 21 million for large, 14 million for medium, 10 million for small. So we do not get a discount. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So just kind of whatever is most convenient. Well, we'll just head back to our ship here quick. And it is about time to put a cut in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in just a moment. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. But first, before I go, I want to make the commitment that we are definitely definitely going to have enough money to get started on claytronic production next episode see you all then